Hello, this is Matt Higgins. Um, I'm just talking a bit about Team Foundation Server or this Team Foundation Service. I'm having a bit of trouble myself trying to upload source code. So I'm just going to try and show somebody else how to do it or how I'm doing it and how I get started. Here we go. So I'm going to load up Team Viewer at the moment. First of all, I'm going to load Visual Studio Express. 2012 for Windows desktop then I've got an option here connect to team foundation server or over here this connect to team foundation server it's the same thing that home button is going to come into the equation quite a lot I think um, but anyway I'm going to click on it over here connect to team foundation server and as you can see I don't have a server set up at the moment but I'm going to show you how to set one up this is a server where basically all the all the, the master source code is saved and where you know the master copy is and everything else so I'll click here servers and now it's asking me to add uh, a name of the server and a URL so I'm going to click on add at this point I need to know the URL of where the master code is if you don't mind me calling it master code so I'm going to load up um, I'm with codeplex as you probably maybe know maybe not but I, here I'm going to go to my, uh, just in case you missed that bit there, I'm on the main Codeplex web home page as I log in here and then I go to the project that you're uh, a member of then I go to the source code area and then I go to connect to get the URL details which is here so I'm just going to right click copy I'm going to go and just paste that in here now I've tried this once already and it asked me for a username and password um, so I'll just go back to the instructions again uh, the username is just simply copy it from here the password is whatever password you use for the website it did actually take me a few attempts and I'm sure I wasn't mistyping it so if it doesn't work just try it a couple of times two or three times it was a bit weird anyway so I'm going to click on OK for me it's going to remember my login and password from last time because it must have been so I can't change that by looking at it but who cares I guess as long as it kind of works so now it says something about working here now here it's automatically showing up two projects that I'm already part of I'm only interested in one of the projects that I'm currently working in so that's C sharp begin so I'm going to click on connect and see what happens here now nothing changes in the middle but over here now you've got this uh, home button again but again very important and this source Control Explorer. So I'm going to click on there and see if I can remember what to do. <laughs> now the um, I've been messing about a little bit here, but from what I understand is these ticks mean that it's in edit mode. So you can go in here and edit these bits. Now, so um, already what I had to do, you might have to do this already, is you have to right click over here and click on get latest version so I'm going to do that anyway on mine see what happens but this gives you an idea what you need to do my files saying they're up to date and also I could just do a right click check out for edit so basically it comes up with something here and I just leave these as they are uh, and then I go check out in other words uh, cannot change item blah 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 because it's pending is it or whatever I was messing about so just ignore that bit for now so basically it's saying that I can edit everything here uh, the key here I guess is how do you start editing it um, it should ask you um, where do you want to um, save your um, see it will start downloading all the source code it will ask you where you want to save it to as you can see I've already chose somewhere on my PC so it's not asking me again if I click on this I've just noticed it myself actually I'd like to be able to go in now and start editing the code so I'm going to click on this and see what where it takes me here we go so uh, I've got a, this is the actual folder on my PC what it's downloaded the source code to all the files so I'm going to double click on this solution here in here is all the the main files all the the, uh, the the forms and everything else that's part of the project so I'm going to go back one and just double click on this here the solution and uh, oh, something's coming up because I've been messing about like I say but uh, do you want to open the project using source control binding I'll just put use solution binding so in other words I think it's going to whatever's on my PC it's going to um, take that to be going to take it from that 
and then put that on the uh, on the website on, on in to, back into the master code when I finished so now as you can see interestingly there's two little tabs over here if you can see where my mouse is uh, before I just had team explorer now I've got team uh, solution explorer as well so if I go into here you can see that it's saying what I've got in all these files are in edit mode at the moment and um, basically I can just treat this now like a normal C Sharp Visual Studio program so it's fantastic so I can, I can click on start and run and this is running it from my own PC uh, and as well as that I think I'm not sure I've not tried this but I think I can go to back to team view team view team explorer and click on start and run the uh, master version as well so but anyway I'm going to run it from my own PC I'm going to I'm just going to double click on this form that I've created before so that should load up the form here now, I'm not going to do many changes to the to this form but I'm just going to double click on go uh, to see what's inside this button this go button and basically I'm just going to do a very subtle change I'm just going to see those four dots there I'm going to make them make it into about ten dots that's four five six seven eight nine ten that's not going to make any difference to the cut uh, to the project at all it's just it's just a sample of what you can do um, so I, I could make a, a adjustment to the code try running it uh, and everything else so here I'm going to click on um, just simply save it save all so save all or you can just click on save um, and then I want to go back to the team explorer again and as you can see that this this is still appearing from the, my local version of my PC I'm not so interested in that anymore so I can get close that away out of the way now and I'll get rid of that so I'm, I'm just left with my South Explorer up here now um, so I want to find the file what's a good practice is just to have a look at the difference between what's on the master and what's on the on your own PC so that file I've just edited it's just there so there's a useful button here which is compare with local version so I'm going to click on that and hopefully yes there we go so it's basically saying this uh, code on the left is what's um, is the is the master source code and you could say this code on the right is um, is what I've just edited if I move to the right you can see that there's extra dots in here that I've inserted and that's why it's highlighted if I'd made any more other changes as well it's quite handy you can uh, move move this up and down to any other code changes you've done just to confirm that you're happy with those changes so I'm happy with the differences there uh, so I'm going to click on the cross there to get rid of that and now basically I want to just upload my differences to the website because I'm happy that this is all working so there's one button here which check in which means check everything back into the master code so I'm going to go for check in like this now uh, if you hopefully can see that on the right hand side but there's a little bar going across uh, and we're going to uh, team explorer penny chase so I'm going to put test uh, alteration by adding more dots into the comment into a comment comment okay so that's fine so I'm going to click, click on check check in here uh, do you want to check in one item presumably if I was if there's more than one thing it would know that there'd be more than one um, item more than one file that perhaps that I want to put back on to, into the master copy so I'll just put yes and then it's checking in one item so the bar goes across successfully checked in I believe it I believe it but it looked it looked good so I'm going to go back onto my website now I'm going to go into the source code again just going to kind of maybe just refresh things a little, a little bit go back in source I was now I'll go back to the beginning of my uh, the, the codeplex website so I'll go into um, the C sharp beginner project source code and then I should be able to do something like history the time is now as you can see 12.43 uh, and I've got yeah uh, an alteration here test alteration done by adding more dots in the comment 12.42 and of course I can check the actual upload itself by browsing in here to the same kind of location where the alteration was that I made which is just here uh, and should expect to be 10 dots in the comment of course it's not going to make any difference to the code um, so the, there is you know 10 dots there so that ends the little tutorial on how to use this team viewer for Express 2012 it is a bit awkward 
um, but follow along with me and, and if you keep practicing it's like anything else I suppose it gets easier and easier there's probably better ways to do this as well so I'd be very interested if anyone else can do a tutorial that's better than this one okay thank you thanks for watching I'll speak to you again soon bye bye